weird. He mentioned he did Chris Christie. Um, Ray represented Chris Christie in the Bridgegate okay. scandal. Um, and Christie had said as early as last week, as recently as last week, that this would be an excellent choice for the president. So clearly he had some influence on this. Well, that's what I'm hearing. I'm hearing that Chris Christie was influential in this pick and did recommend uh, Christopher Wray. And I think that it is reassuring to Republicans and Democrats who want there to be a bipartisan investigation that is you know, free of any political influence that someone with this kind of background is going into the position. I just can't help note uh, the timing of this nomination yeah. it's just the first of several smoke bombs uh, that we will that we will experience on the eve of uh, we call that counter programming exactly <laughs> this is just the first one uh, bob cost you've been doing some reporting even as we've been talking here what more can you tell us about christopher ray to build upon the point made by elise pay attention to governor christie this is someone who remains an ally of president trump calls the white house and the private residents regularly he recommended ray he's also deeply involved with the opioid project with, within the administration he's on television at times defending trump he's been a critic of comey christie is someone one of the rare republicans who remains personally close to president trump and is considered a possible hire at some point for a cabinet post or a white house job should there ever be a shakeup he is someone on the sidelines now but this ray decision shows you his lingering influence in the trump orbit so robert given given uh, governor christie's relationship with the president given governor christie's nature and temperament uh, given Reince Priebus's continuing almost daily, you know, rumors around him about uh, being pushed out, leaving, could Chris Christie have the chops to be chief of staff, a chief of staff who could keep people out of the Oval Office, reduce the chaos, and most importantly, would he be the kind of person that Trump might listen to? Well, Trump does listen to, the president does listen to him on, on a personal level and on a political strategic level. But it, it, remember, this is a White House right now. Jared Kushner, the son-in-law and senior advisor, is making calls about some kind of addition to the White House staff. Uh, my colleagues Ashley Parker, Phil Rucker, and I reported today that Jeff Morrill and Laura Ingram and, and other names have been floated as and it reached out to Scott Reed, the former campaign manager for Bob Dole, talked to in, in informal conversations about coming in. And people People inside of the White House tell me often that Christie is seen as someone not necessarily maybe to replace Priebus. Priebus remains safe, I'm told. But at the same time, if there's ever a shakeup in the cabinet or a different part of the staff, Christie could come in because he has that trust with the president. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories. And you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.